Hello everyone, my name is Allison and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, this is a really special one for me because I am recreating my wedding day makeup look. I did my own makeup on my wedding because I really wanted to make sure I looked like myself. I really love doing makeup and it's something that's actually really calming to me so it helped keep me calm and focused the morning of my wedding. So I have not tried to recreate my makeup from my wedding day since then and it's been um, two and a half years so I had so much fun making this video today and I also think it would be really fun to do another bridal makeup look like if I was getting married this year how would I do my makeup because I have so many new products since my wedding day that even though I love this look and it was so perfect and it's still a really awesome bridal makeup look I would like to actually try and do a couple more bridal makeup is just probably my favorite makeup to do so um, if you would like to see more bridal looks from me, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or write down in the comments what kind of bridal look you're looking for, just so I can know, and subscribe to my channel if you're new, and let's go ahead and get into this video. So one of the reasons I really wanted to post that makeup tips video about the using two and mixing products together before I posted this video is because you will see me doing that a hundred times over. For pretty much every single thing, I like mix the two products together or use two different ones to create my wedding makeup look. Um, so to start off with priming, I actually used three different primers. So I started with the, Fat, the Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water because I had my hair done before my makeup. Spread that out on the top. I had my hair done before my makeup, so my skincare was sitting on my face for about an hour before I actually started doing my makeup that morning. So this is just really great at refreshing the makeup, um, the skincare on your face before makeup, and it also really helps with the longevity. Not sure how, because it just feels like water, but it does work. And then I use the Becca Backlight Priming Filter to give me that bridal blue focus this on the outsides of the face, then I did bring it towards the center. And then last but not least, the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer in my T-Zone. This primer is incredible. I love it. Whenever I do special occasion makeup, I do like to do my eyes first. Um, well, I like to prime my skin, then do my eyes, and then go in the foundation afterwards because it gives the primer a little time to settle, and that way if I mess up my eyes, it's I don't have to redo my whole face, so I can just wipe off my eyes and start over. So for primer, Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden is the best eyeshadow primer ever because it works as like a really bright concealer, as you can see, and it really keeps your eyeshadow on all day. Helps everything look super pigmented. And gets rid of like all the darkness and veins that like I have on my eyelid. Okay, and then for eyeshadow, I brought with me that day my Tartlet and Bloom eyeshadow, because this one is just amazing. My Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And then I also have this really pretty Z palette from Sephora Collection with a bunch of random eyeshadows, some from Anastasia Beverly Hills, some from, I think, Ulta Collection, um, some from Sephora Collection. So I just have like a bunch of random eyeshadows. I have shimmers and mattes, and then this right here is my ABH contour kit. So I used a mixture of these three palettes for my eyes and my eyeshadow is, the hub, is where I'm having the hardest time like remembering exactly what I did. But I know that I set my eyeshadow down with a white cream bone shade because I always do this first. So I'm gonna go in with this shade all over my eyes to really set that primer down brighten the eyes and I know they probably look so <laughs> bright and crazy right now but I promise it'll get better. So I know I started with this shade 
Sweetheart from the Tartlet and Bloom palette. It's this really pretty pinky toned brown and I just thought it would be perfect for a bridal makeup look. I went with a more neutral eye. It wasn't like, I didn't use all warm browns the day of my wedding. I used more of like pink and burgundy and brown. Uh, I did a fall wedding, it was October 15th, 2017. So I wanted to do more fall tones and I didn't want it to be like overly warm brown and gold. So I started with that shade Sweetheart as my transition shade. I believe I did go in with a warmer toned brown so I'm going to use this eyeshadow right here. It's almost like the shade of a bronzer just to deepen that up a little bit. I didn't want to do anything overly complicated on my eyes because eyeshadow is not I'm not the greatest at eyeshadow so I just wanted something really easy that looked really beautiful and glamorous but not too dark because that just wouldn't really look like me and um, just easy to do that morning so that way it wasn't like stressing out about it okay so to further deepen up my crease I'm gonna go in with the shade rebel from the Tartlet palette it's like a brown but it almost has like a pink and purple undertone to it I'm gonna focus this on the outer corner of my eye fluffy brush and this smaller fluffy brush I just kept going back and forth between the matte brown and the matte burgundy color and just further deepening up the outer corner and the crease and just creating a transition of dark to light and I think I really like the way that looks so then for the all over shimmer color I used this color right here I believe it's called from Anastasia and I did it on my finger and I just pressed it into the lid just like this really pretty perfect bridal color because it's not glittery or sparkly at all but it definitely has a shimmer to it keeps your eyes really pretty and bright love that shade. I'm just going to blend it a tiny bit. And then I did take a small brush, and I'm probably going to have to end up touching this up after I get my concealer, but I did take the shade Funny Girl from my Tarte palette, and I did that more in the inner corner areas of my eye, because it's a little bit brighter. I did use a little bit of gel eyeliner. This is from Maybelline. It's in the shade Espresso because I didn't want to use black. And I did use a tiny bit of this just right along my lash line because I did put false lashes on that day so I wanted it to cover up the lash band. I curled my lashes and I applied a little base coat of I used my Maybelline Lash Sensational in Waterproof, and I did apply a little bit of mascara just as a base for lashes. So that's all I'm gonna do with the eyes right now. I'm gonna come back and do my eyebrows and my lashes at the end. So let's move on to the face. So the day of my wedding day, I mixed together 
the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation with the Lancome Tinted Doll Foundation. So I technically have that same bottle of foundation from my wedding day, but I just have it on display. It's, and the little tiny bit that's left at the bottom of the bottle is very expired. So for today's makeup look, I am going to just use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Um, I have two shades of it because I'm definitely going to have to mix together to get the right color for me right now. But that foundation combination was see, uh, incredible the day of my wedding. My makeup did not budge all day long. So I'm just going to dot this onto my face. And you can always build it up, but you can't always get rid of foundation that's on your face. So definitely for every special occasion, especially your wedding day, work in really light layers of all of your products because you can always add more. This was all I was using and this one's actually a new one in the shade light neutral because I finished the other one a while ago and then I haven't used this concealer in so long so I'm interested to see how I like it right now but I used light neutral under my eyes and down my face and after I blend that out, I did add a little bit of the shade Light Sand um, to further highlight my skin. Then taking just a tiny bit of light sand okay so then right after I was done doing my concealer I did set my under eyes using my Maybelline fit me loose powder and my damp beauty sponge and I really make sure to press all this powder into my skin I didn't leave any extra there to bake. I just pressed and blended it into the skin. And then to set the rest of my face, I use the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. And this is what really makes your skin look so flawless. So I use it on a big brush, put the powder into the brush, and then I just tap it onto my skin. And then, this, I told you guys that when it comes to like the using two, three, four method, I just kind of kept layering powders onto my face. I had really oily skin. I didn't want my face to get oily throughout the day. So I did end up going through with the um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders and I just mixed the three together on a fluffier setting brush. And I also did dust that all over my skin to give me like an all over Glow. So I'm going to move on to bronzer for a second and I started with my Benefit Hula Bronzer and I used this to add warmth to my skin. So I did use a smaller bronzer brush that day 
than I typically do because I wanted to make sure I was being really precise and only putting the bronzer where I wanted to. And again, you can always build it up, but be careful about putting down too much bronzer too fast because you never want your makeup to look muddy. also a shimmery bronzer. Um, I use the one from Becca. Um, I think it's called Capri Coast. I'm not sure, but I don't have that bronzer anymore. So I'm just going to use this Milani Glow Bronzer and just really lightly dust it. So for contouring that day, I used my ABH Contour Kit shades and I just took a really small, really dense, precise brush, blended all three shades together. Are we surprised that I mixed them all together? And I used this brush to really chisel out my cheekbones. So these are the two matte highlighting shades from ABH Contour Kit. I'm going to mix them together and just press that powder really lightly. shade bubbly from this ABH glow kit because it's a really pretty pinky highlight shade I believe it was the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, but I don't have that, so I'm going to use my Benefit one. 
and I'm going to set my brows with this NYX brow powder. Okay, so I just took a very long time putting on false lashes. I did use individual lashes today on my wedding day. I did use a strip lash. No idea which one. Literally not even the brand. I don't know. Um, I do kind of regret doing a strip lash though. I kind of wish I would have done individuals or at least added more individuals in on the outer corner. Um, I just feel like my lashes kind of got lost in photos, even though in real life they were really bold, they kind of got lost in photos a little bit. I just think that individual lash lashes just look so fluttery and pretty. So I'm waiting for the lash glue to dry and then I'm going to go in with a little bit more mascara on my bottom lashes and help to blend some of the false lashes in and darken my lash line. So while I wait for those to dry, or am okay, all nighter setting spray, obviously. Lips that day. I used my MAC lip liner in the shade Soar and I used this Milani lipstick in the shade Naturally Chic. And to finish everything off, like I said, I'm gonna go in with some mascara just to blend my lashes together and a little bit on my lower lash line. So this is it. This is my wedding makeup look recreated. I hope you guys really liked it because I had so much fun doing this. I've never recreated my makeup since the day of my wedding. So this was so much fun. It brings back so many good memories. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to see more and I'll see you next time. Bye.